Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, March 20th. Happy National Proposal Day. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation. Under God. Indivisible. With liberty. And justice for all. Moment of silence. Please be seated. The senior ball will be held this Friday at LeBaron Country, Country Club. All students need to be in school for the full day in order to attend. Any students invited to be part of the Spanish and French Honor Societies are reminded that there will be a mandatory practice for induction tomorrow during Power Block. Please check into Power Block and head to the auditorium after the five minute freeze. On, Honor Society officers are reminded that their attendance is necessary as well. The advisory is today. We will be doing an exciting diversity activity we have planned out for all grades. Seniors, please report to Power Block. Please see Mrs. K if you have any questions. West Bridgewater's annual World Culture Night offers you a night of amazing cuisine from 20 different countries around the world, along with music and cultural workshops. The event is held here at the MSHS this Thursday, beginning at 5.30 p.m. All are welcome. Tickets are $6 each, and a family cap of $25 will be sold at the door. Tomorrow is the start of the 2024 Pickleball Tournament. Let's head to Aiden and Noah to give us the lowdown on the first round. Take it away. We're here for the lowdown, so we're going to look go through the Pickleball Tournament. Uh, let's start in the top left quadrant me and you both in this uh yeah in this bracket but i'm really excited for one matchup uh one matchup in particular hector versus christian packard and, and all i know is hector is going to pack up christian packard I I, this I is this is more. the biggest upset pick of the first round i don't even know if it should be an upset because i i, I don't think people have seen hector on the pickleball court so yeah, i'm agree. going with the young gun and i will say aiden mayer that yeah. guy probably the best two seed the pickleball West Virginia pickleball is I couldn't. I couldn't agree more. So moving down, we have the bottom left. A lot of young talent in this. Uh, yeah. In this yeah. quadrant. Pickleball yep. scouts better watch out. That, that's what I'm saying. This is the future of West Virginia pickleball right here. And there's also Luke Destrant. So yeah. that's someone we have and to mention. He's just a name. Amongst all of the young talent, though, he's the one senior. And I will say they don't call him D1 Destrant for a reason. He's going to the Elite Eight. I at like least. that. Maybe I like that. Maybe the final four, but, but, but at least the elite. Yeah. I don't want to get too ambitious. <laughs> and I would say keep an eye out for my tennis, my fellow tennis players, Ryan Ginnich, Nathan Trott. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Future of WV Tennis. Let's get it. Uh, up to, yeah, the third quadrant here. Jamie Sheedy. The first biggest, time in the tournament, and he's a one seed. Yeah, the biggest, which, cheat, the biggest cheater in the tournament. Everyone watch out. Jamie Sheedy, known to cheat. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Yeah. I feel like this is, but I will say, does the lack of, in, you know, this is an inexperience, inexperience. kind of yeah, yeah. hurt him a little bit. This is a pretty strong bracket yeah. here. He's got to play Ryan Noons experience. in the first round. Noah Holland or the second mayor in yeah, the tournament yeah, yeah. in the second <laughs> round, if he, if he gets that far. So, I don't know. I Jamie think we also, also have to mention Reese. Don't know if people are happy <laughs> about her being in the tournament. No, people are not happy. Hey, people are not. I am. I'm have, I have Reese beating Anthony. Not sure about how much further, because Nick is also in this tournament. Mm. And I don't know if he can count the scores, but I know he can play some pickleball. Yeah, that's, that's fair. So, moving on to the bottom right. <laughs> we have Logan Doan, another mayor. The mayors yeah, are just taking over many, the pickleball bracket. Emma Mayer, I have her taking down Mia Harrington. <laughs> all the Makes mayors are moving on. And you also, think so? All the mayors. All that, the mayors. That's are your hot, on. that's your hot prediction. I would say one of the mayors moves on. <laughs> it's gonna be me. And then another upset in this side of the bracket. Who do you have your eye on? Um, I wouldn't even say it's an upset. Sean Burns is better than than Thomas Stapleton. <laughs> Mr. Forty needs to be humbled. Okay, he's his ego goes way too high. He needs to be brought down. And Sean Burns is nah. And so. you can't miss him. The, that uh, that red flowing locks. Oh yeah. He's one to see on the pickleball court. And uh, no, who do you have winning? I think ultimately we're done. in the end. Today's Man, featured breakfast is an, early, is an early riser hash brown patty filled with egg and cheese. Other choices include a variety of pastries, soft pretzels, uncrustables, assorted breakfast sandwiches, smoothies, yogurt parfaits, and the Pick 2 snack rack. For cereal lovers, check out the cereal varieties at the Speedy Cereal display in front of the milk chest. Today's lunch is, chicken, is teriyaki chicken noodle bowl. The pizza line is serving crunchy breaded mozzarella sticks with marinara, and the grill is serving crispy chicken filet sandwiches on a fresh, bulky roll. Freshly made grab, freshly made grab and goes include chicken Caesar salads, wraps, Mexican chicken, cheddar wraps, vegetarian, vegetarian Mediterranean wraps, bagels with yogurt, tuna salads, and ham subs, along with Uncrustables. 
And finally, a happy birthday to Samantha Hebb. You share your birthday with Ruby Rose. That's all for the announcements today. On behalf of Viviana, myself, and the morning crew, have a great day.